Big Dale, 063, welcome to my podcast. How can we stoop so low? Man, I'm in here with another Woodline, Robert Taylor slash uh, native. Uh, her name is Heidi. She really don't need no uh, introduction. Uh, her son is T-Y-M-B. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to let her introduce herself and let her know, let y'all know who her son is. And uh, we just going to touch on a few subjects. Ain't nobody never had on no interview. She ain't never did no interview. But she just, you know, she's speaking out. This is my sister. And uh, she's speaking out because she tired of all these pictures being painted, quote, unquote, about her son and what he is and TYMB, what it really was, what it really was put in place for and what it really stood for, for her son name to live at forever and not in vain and not on no gang shit. So I'm going to let her tell y'all and I'm going to let her, her, her let you know. And no, she ain't on here talking about she was an angel, her son was no angel. Cause ain't none of us no angels in this situation. We just was a product of our environment. So I'm gonna let y'all hear from Heidi. Heidi, let them know who your son, who your son was, both of them. You understand what I'm saying? In this city of Chicago and who you are and just give them a little background on you. Okay, my son's name was Edric Tyshawn Christopher Walker. He got killed May 21st, 2009, walking his supposedly girlfriend home. So y'all heard that now that she talking about her first son. And that's that's where TYMB came from, right? Exactly. And that was that that TYMB was in memorial of him and his name to live on. Am I right or wrong? Correct. Alright, go on finish your story. Okay. So he was supposed to be walking his girlfriend home and uh um, she they little friends was with them. And some group of members walked up on him and was like, T.Y., what's up? And he was told they asked, like, he wasn't on that. And how old was he at the time? 15, not no fucking 17. Not, he hadn't even made 16 yet. His birthday was June the 9th. That's when he would have been 16. And it happened May when? May 21st, 2009. He was 15. Listen, 15. Now. Listen. Y'all got all the wrong fucking information. So, so for the bloggers and everybody else that's making these stories up as they come along, and that's why we pushing peace and we getting our own message out here because everybody is describing what's going on in Chicago, but Chicago. So you're getting a chance to hear from these mothers and I'm going to bring it to you and I'm going to get it to you real. So she let y'all know her son was 15. Now she ain't saying he was no angel, but he was walking his girlfriend home and a group of individuals approached him and they asked him, T.Y., what's up? And he told him he wasn't up with that shit. Go ahead, sis. All right, and shoot, they shot him one time in the leg and then they shot him all in his chest and the torso. And he died. He died on Adams. 65th and Adams. 15 now. 15. So my thing is, is this. And a lot of people want to associate a lot of BS and different things. So we're going to clear a lot of things up. Like like Lil B. Everybody saying Lil B this, Lil B that. Uh, EBT, Lil B this and that. Lil B didn't come from EBT. Am I right or wrong? No, you didn't. Did you, you, you've been raising and knowing Lil B since he was a kid. Am I right or wrong? My baby, Lil B used to be, first and foremost, I don't even consider him as Lil B. You were talking about who? Says that. Rasan Shah. Exactly. His mother, I love her. Love her to death. No, we're not in no war. Me and Sharon, Sharon is like a sister to me. Her children are my babies cousins okay and we i got a picture and i love as they, them as babies and, I, and i'm gonna I prove love them. Them. i love them so far as all that bullshit y'all be putting out here on these motherfucking stories if you gonna get some shit get some shit right okay so the thing is they don't want that right because they want to make a buck so they figure the lies and the garbage is more bang for their buck but here it is, we're gonna have a mother, we got the mother, she telling the horse's mouth, she telling what it is, and I'm not finna have her relive 
uh, that that tragic day. So she just gave y'all a spin of the story, letting y'all know what's real and what's going on, and she telling y'all. So TYMB Young Money is not. It was not formed, not formed for no gang purposes, not none of that. It's in remember, it's in remembrance of her son to make her make his name live forever. Now anything that got caught up in between that and our environment and what's going on, people got to defend themselves. So what we what we trying to work on to do now is to fix these problems, man. To fix this, to, to kill this opera, to kill this 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 thing, man, and all this garbage about everybody just down here in Woodline fighting each other and killing each other. That's what we're working to stop. We're working to stop that right now. Now, we're going we, we gonna to talk about that. So she didn't let y'all know about her son, Tashaan, and she let y'all know about TYMB, but she also ended up losing another one of her sons to census gun violence, and his name was Outlaw. I'm going to let her explain that to y'all, and that's still ongoing, and that was a whole lot of BS. They know it was BS. They know what they did. So, so my thing is, you hearing it, you hearing it, you hearing it front line. As you see us shirt, Project Hood, we work together, hand in hand, on stopping violence, man. That's what we on. We work, we front line with this. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't down the street. We ain't around the corner. We ain't out of town. We front line. And we have lost our children in the midst of this. So our fight is different. We got blood invested in these fights. So when y'all see her, y'all know, man, y'all know this woman is on peace and she moving peace. You heard her out her own mouth. She ain't got no ill feelings about Rashawn. She ain't got no ill feelings with his mama. She love his mama. Hey, it's, Yeah, I love his mama. I talk to her on Facebook when I can. So, hey, uh, and, and we soon to be. We ain't going to be in no bullshit. Because of where her son was and what my son or sons was. No, we going to always be peaceful. We're like this. That's my sister. I love her and she loves me. People need to stop all that dumb shit. That shit don't make no sense. It's not putting nothing in your pocket, your bank account, none of that shit. Keep my son's name out your mouth too. If you want anything, need anything, holler at me. Stop hollering at everybody else. That shit irritate. Y'all need to stop doing that shit because y'all making the mothers upset. So y'all hear that to you other bloggers? Y'all heard it from the mother. Y'all heard it from the horse's mouth. Y'all want any information about her kids? or anybody else kids that y'all knowing that's tied in her, get out to her, reach over her. I'm not a gatekeeper. If y'all want to speak with her and y'all want to be respectful, I can make it happen. But it must be respectful and it must be peaceful. If it ain't peaceful, we ain't dealing with it. So stop making these stories about who's the killer and who did this and who all that. No, man, get it from the horse's mouth. It don't get no clearer than that. Hey, and then it's so crazy. In my documentary, Remember this name, remember this face. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. I'm out. Whatever y'all do today, don't stoop so low.